first let me welcome everybody to the Free World Trade Center. It's so wonderful to see so many old friends, familiar faces. We've been here together for the last 15 years, and we're still plugging along. This is a topping out ceremony, one of my favorites. Ribbon cuttings aren't bad either, they all go together, but it gives us a chance to celebrate people who deserve praise and recognition because the fact of the matter is it's an opportunity to celebrate our workers, all of you.
28 years. She's been the champion of rebuilding from day one and has made this neighborhood one of the city's best places to live. Thanks, Catherine, for all you've done. In two short years, this building will be the newest addition to the neighborhood. When we open the doors, it will not just be for our tenants, but for all New Yorkers. We couldn't have built this without the men and women of the construction trades, the unionized construction trades that are here with us today. And from iron workers, masons, carpenters, teamsters, laborers, welders, you work every day, rain or shine, to reclaim our skyline and rebuild what the terrorists unsuccessfully tried to destroy forever. On behalf of my team at Silverstein Properties, led by John Lieber, who we heard a few moments ago, David Worsley, David Murray, David. Sean Johnson, Sean Wareye. Carlos Valverde, Carlos Wareye. Where are you, Carlos? <coughs> Mitsuko Ashida. Guy Punson, Guy Wareye. Nigel Obama. Nigel. Ken Narentis, Ken. I just want to thank you for everything you've done and we'll continue to do. And now, let's go on and finish the job. I'm delighted to introduce the Executive Director of the Port Authority, who's worked assiduously 